Musicians in Greece are revisiting some ancient traditions, using the images on pottery for clues. They're recreating instruments and sounds that have not been heard for centuries. CNN's John Seropoulos talks with the musicologist behind the revival for Daybreak. This orchestra is a time machine. These awkward boxes, the ancestors of the violin and viola. This music, unheard for five centuries. The Greeks are rediscovering a lost musical tradition. In the days of the Byzantine Empire, the Orthodox Church tried to ban non-religious music. Today, one musicologist has made it his life's work to revive it. There was a very big disagreement concerning the existence or not of this music. We learned that uh, Byzantium has no any kind of uh, musical culture except this of the church. I can't imagine a people praying, praying and only praying uh, for 11 centuries. The church preserved the very culture it suppressed. Kaleris discovered secular musical scores in Greek monastic libraries a thousand years old. The music ranges from dinner songs to ballets and full-scale operas. Even while suppressing secular music, the church was commissioning grandiose religious works designed to dazzle and convert the masses. They used to take the lights, the lights uh, from the roof of the church and uh, doing several effects. The impression we have is that this is a big show, like a uh, Hollywood show. And the church knew how to wield music as a propaganda tool. The religious uh, shows the, uh, were starting in uh, the theater, and then the actors used to say, if you want to know the end of the story, uh, follow us till the church. So the church uh, uh, had the possibility to take people from the theater and put these people in the church. Now that he holds the lost thread of secular Greek music, Chalaris wants to follow it down to its pagan peggings, reviving the Greek music of ancient times, hundreds of years before Christ. Guided by painted pottery and written evidence, Chalaris and his crew at the Museum of Byzantine and Ancient Greek Music made these replicas of instruments the world has not seen or heard for thousands of years. The problem is deciphering ancient music, but Chalaris believes the Greeks can do it, because Christianity hasn't fundamentally changed Greek culture from its ancient roots. Chalaris hopes this museum will become not a preservation of the past, but a workshop to rediscover it. John Theropoulos, CNN, Thessaloniki, Greece.